Hello everyone, a very good morning to all of you. I am Gulapsa, your mentor, and I welcome you all to another session of RBI 247, wherein today we will be discussing as to whether India really needs a central bank digital currency or should we focus first on financial inclusion. But before getting started, there are certain information for you guys. The first is that we have already launched the live classes for courses for courses such as RBI, SEBI and NABARD and for classes such as management and ESI, the, the classes are starting from 15th of July. If you have still not checked our courses, you can do so by visiting our website and enroll for the same. Apart from that, if you have still not downloaded our app, please go on to the Google Play Store, download the app called anujindal.in. This app will provide you with all these features such as any exam related updates, live video sessions, monthly magazines, daily quizzes, topper strategies as well as past year's papers. So let's get started. So in today's class, we'll first understand like what is this central bank digital currency? What is the need for introducing this digital bank currency? And what benefits does this digital currency has and the limitations of this currency and why and thus India really needs a central bank digital currency at this point in time. So beginning with the origin of central bank digital currency in India, then it was in the union budget of 2022 that the finance minister announced that RBI will launch the central bank digital currency from 2022-23 onwards known as the digital rupee which will be backed by blockchain technology and this will give a major boost a major boost to the digital economy so what is this central bank digital currency so it will be a legal tender similar to that of a physical cash which but in a digital form and it will be issued and backed by the central bank and in case of India, it will be issued as well as there will be backing by RBI. Now, it will also be similar to the physical money that is the fiat currency that we are using issued in paper form and it will also be interchangeable with any of the fiat currency be it, be it of 10 rupee note or 20 rupee note. So, the same denomination will be interchangeable. And people can also continue to use either the physical cash or they can also opt to convert their bank deposits. Whatever deposits that they have in the bank, they can they will have the option to get converted their bank deposits into the new digital rupee. Now, why was there a need to have a central bank digital currency? So the first and obvious need is to provide the users with the convenience convenience as to not have physical cash also security of digital digital uh, pay, digital forms because these these digital currencies will be backed by the central bank apart from that it will also be reserved and with, based on blockchain technology therefore there will be more security from cyber attacks etc the second obvious reason to have a central bank digital currency is to reduce the cost of currency management. Currency management including the cost of printing any new currency, transporting that currency or phasing out any soiled notes and storing this paper currency. As at the same time enabling real time payments, real time payments without any interbank settlement. Why will there be no any interbank settlement? Because since it is issued by RBI, the entire information will be available in an electronic form. Therefore, there will be no requirement of any interbank settlements. Now moving forward, why are central banks across the world issuing digital currencies? Need samajh mein aa gaya ki do major need hai. Ek convenience provide karna. Dusra ki hamari jo cost of printing hai ya currency management hai. Usko hum reduce kar sakte hai. Now the second question that comes is why are central bank issuing this digital currency? 
सो इट हैज बिन सीन दैट देर हैज़ बिन अ राइज इन द प्राइवेट डिजिटल करेंसीज जितने भी प्राइवेट डिजिटल करेंसीज है बी इट बिटकॉइंस एथेरियम एक्सेट्रा देर हैज़ बिन एन इंक्रीज इन द यूजेज ऑफ दिस प्राइवेट डिजिटल करेंसीज एंड ऑल्सो देर हैज़ बिन एन इंक्रीज इन डिजिटल पेमेंट्स बी इट गूगल पे पेटीएम एक्सेट्रा सो इन ऑर्डर टू सेटिस्फाई द इंक्रीजिंग डिमांड फॉर डिजिटल करेंसीज सेंट्रल बैंक अक्रॉस द ग्लोब आर टेकिंग इन टू कंसिडरेशन टू लॉन्च डिजिटल करेंसीज विच आर वेल रेगुलेटेड एंड विच विल हैव लेसर रिस्क एज कम्पेयर टू दिस प्राइवेट डिजिटल करेंसीज अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट आर बी आई एंड अदर सेंट्रल बैंक ऑल्सो वॉन्ट्स टू रेगुलेट द क्रिप्टो करेंसीज एंड अदर virtual form of current virtual digital currencies as it as rbi on several occasion has flagged concerns for money laundering terror financing tax evasion which were which were very much prominent in the case of private cryptocurrencies such as bitcoins ethereum etc thus central bank digital currencies that is the cbdc will provide a reliable sovereign backed alternative to the private digital currencies which are very much volatile as well as unregulated theek hai to iske wajah se central banks are considering to issue this digital currencies apart from that what other benefits does uh, central bank digital currencies provide so the first and the major prominent benefit that that the central bank digital currency provides is that it provides the best of both worlds that is it will provide the programmability of cryptocurrencies that is convenience as well as the security feature that cryptocurrencies have secondly it will provide the stability of fiat currency because it will be regulated as well as backed by the central bank of the country ठीक है तो ट्रेडिशनल बैंकिंग सिस्टम की भी बेनिफिट प्रोवाइड कर रहा है सिक्योरिटी और कन्वीनियंस भी प्रोवाइड कर रहा है अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द सेकंड मेजर बेनिफिट इज देर विल बी एन ईजियर डोमेस्टिक एस वेल एज क्रॉस बॉर्डर पेमेंट्स दिस इज बिकॉज अगर अगर डिजिटल करेंसीज आर मोर प्रेवलेंट देन इट कैन एलिमिनेट द नीड टू हैव एन एक्सपेंसिव नेटवर्क with the correspondent bank in the foreign country to settle any cross border settlements agar india or us ke beech mein koi bhi settlement karna hai wo bahut uh, cost effective ho jayega because we need, we do not require the swift system or the other payment gateway or to have some connection with the correspondent bank we can electronically get all this transferred theek hai at the same time it will have it will take less time to settle any cross border transactions third obvious benefit is that of financial inclusion central bank can use this central bank digital currency to include the informal economy jitna bhi informal economy hai ya jin jinke paas bank accounts nahi hai unko hum include kar sakte hain into the formal economy and thereby we can ensure better tax compliances एंड रेगुलेटरी कम्प्लाइंसिस टैक्स और रेगुलेटरी कम्प्लाइंसिस अच्छे हो सकते हैं ठीक है अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट दी ऑबियस इज दैट देर विल बी रिड्यूस कॉस्ट फॉर करेंसी मैनेजमेंट सो दिस आर द बेनिफिट्स विच आर लियोरिंग दिस सेंट्रल बैंक अक्रॉस द कंट्रीज अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड टू हैव अ डिजिटल करेंसी ऑफ इट्स ओन विच आर मोर स्टेबल रेगुलेटेड एंड लेस रिस्क इन्वॉल्व ठीक है अब सिंस वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द बेनिफिट्स लेट अस टॉक लेट अस टॉक अबाउट व्हाट आर द रिस्क इन्वॉल्व क्योंकि कोई भी चीज़ होगा देर इज़ अ फ्लिप साइड टू एवरीथिंग राइट सो लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द रिस्क इन्वॉल्व इन अडॉप्टिंग सेंट्रल बैंक डिजिटल करेंसी सो वन मेजर रिस्क दैट द सेंट्रल बैंक अक्रॉस द ग्लॉब फियर इज दैट पीपल मे बिगिन विदड्रॉइंग द मनी फ्रॉम द बैंक अकाउंट्स as digital currencies issued by the central banks will become more popular to jaise jaise digital currency popular hona shuru hoga people will be starting converting will start with converting their bank deposits into digital cash and such concern was also raised by by the dep- by the RBI deputy governor in one of the reports apart from that 
if since the digital wallet that which will be offered by the RBI, if it provides the same purpose that is of safety, the major concern of in of depositing money into a bank is is to have safety of your money, right? आपके पैसे safe रहे. अगर ये same safety feature this digital currency wallet provides, then then we can say that there will be less of credit creation by the bank credit creation bank ki kam ho jayegi because there will be mass conversion of bank deposits into digital cash jiske wajah se deposits with the banks deposits with the bank will decrease and as a result the credit or the loan creation by banks will decrease however this scenario can be reversed as well because especially in the developing economies whereby since whereby deposits on banks earn certain interest which i don't think will be available on the digital currency theek hai agar digital currency interest nahi provide karti then the situation can re, uh, can reverse can reverse and banks and banks can have more of deposits with themselves but agar aisa nahi hota hai then it will affect the credit and the loan creation as well as the disbursements by the bank also when banks will con when people will convert their deposits into the digital rupee there will be a shift of liability from the books of the banks to the central bank kyunki jo digital rupee hogi the digital rupee will be provided and regulated by the rbi only hai na uske alawa there are apart from that there are other risk as well such as the higher cost of upgradation if there is a faster obsolescence of the technology operational risk there will be operational risk as well operational risk kaise ho sakte hain operational risk such as retraining the staffs to work in to work in a cbdc environment cbdc environment mein work karne ke liye staff ko train karna padega there can be potential cyber security risk kyunki entire system will now be electronic and there can be privacy concerns as well because all of the transactions which you will be undertaking through the digital rupee will be regulated by the RBI theek hai to iske iske context mein 2019 mein certain recommendations were issued by the SC Garg committee so is committee ka naam uh, is committee ke naam ko yaad rakhna because any this is the first committee that was that was formed on central bank digital currency और इस कमेटी ने ये बोला था कि इट विल बी अ पनिशेबल ऑफेंस एंड देर कैन बी अ जेल टर्म फ्रॉम वन टू टेन इयर्स इफ एनी पर्सन इज फाइन विद माइनिंग होल्डिंग और ट्रांजैक्टिंग इन क्रिप्टो करेंसीज हाउ एवर द कमेटी आल्सो रेकमेंडेड दैट द गवर्नमेंट शुड कीप एन ओपन माइंड ऑन पोटेंशियल इशूंस ऑफ क्रिप्टो करेंसीज बाई आर रेगुलेटेड क्रिप्टो करेंसीज बाय आर ठीक है तो इसलिए इस कमेटी के नाम को याद रखना नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट वाई इज वेदर दिस सेंट्रल बैंक डिजिटल करेंसीज आर बिकमिंग पॉपुलर अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड और नॉट सो इट इज वर्थ नोटिंग एंड मैंशनिंग हियर दैट सेवरल कंट्रीज इंक्लूडिंग द यू एस द यूरोपियन यूनियन एंड इवन चाइना right even china have been working seriously towards issuing their own central bank digital currencies keeping in mind the benefits that this digital currencies are providing the benefits that this digital currencies are providing for instance uh, for instance if we talk about the bahamas it launched the world's first central bank digital currency in the year 2020 non as the cent dollars apart from that another country called nigeria have also rolled out e naira in 2020 and china has become the world's first major economy to pilot a digital currency known as e cny e chinese yuan renminbi that too in the year april 2020 so china and other developed nations such as us and european union are putting in their best to have a centralized to have a more resilient central bank digital currency now comes the question what about india does india really needs a central bank digital currency now before answering this 
central bank across the world needs to first figure out how how this cbdc that is the central bank digital currency going to fit into a finely balanced monetary system that is prevalent now and whether the cbdc will provide the same psychological comfort as that of cash and the level of mitigating the risk of any technology failure aapko pata hai agar sari kuch electronic hoga then there are chances of technology failure right technology failure kabhi bhi ho sakta hai so we need to first ask this question ki kya ye 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 jo criteria hai ye fulfill ho rahe hain ya nahi theek hai and each if we think about the options then each option involves certain trade offs for example there are several central banks who have come up with the idea of issuing limited quantity of cbdc and placing threshold on the amount any person can hold ab wo limited quantity kyun issue kar rahe so that jitna bhi deposits hai bank mein wo pura nikal na liya jaye aur jo credit creation hai economy ki banks ki wo decrease na ho theek hai अगर आप ऐसा करते हो तो जो आप कन्वीनियंस की बात कर रहे थे वहाँ पे ट्रेड ऑफ हो जाएगा राइट सिमिलरली दे आर अदर सेंट्रल बैंक्स हु वांट्स टू टेक द एडवांटेज ऑफ द सीबीडीसी प्रोग्रामेबिलिटी बाय मेकिंग दिस सीबीडीसी इंटरेस्ट बियरिंग कि जो सीबीडीसी होगा उस पर इंटरेस्ट देंगे सो दैट दे कैन हैव अ मोर डायरेक्ट वे टू इन्फ्लुएंस मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी को आप कैसे इन्फ्लुएंस करे करोगे तो वो ये चाह रहे हैं कि हम प्रोग्रामिलिटी फीचर को यूज़ करके इंश्योर करें कि हमारा जो टैक्स सिस्टम है जो टैक्स कम्प्लाइंसिस एज वेल एज द रेगुलेटरी कम्प्लाइंसिस हैं वो बेटर हो जाएं और इसके वजह से दे वॉन्ट मोर एंड मोर पीपल दे वॉन्ट टू इंकरेज मोर एंड मोर पीपल टू बी इंक्लूडेड टू to go for the digital currency right digital currency ke liye jaye so that everything could be regulated to isme bhi ye trade off hai right agar aap interest doge to bank mein to bilkul nahi deposit hoga right so these are the trade offs which are which are available which are there with the options which are available and these options need deep consideration before having the objective apart from that central banks across the globe also have different motivations for introducing central bank digital currencies for those who fear the increasing influence that fintechs that have on their economies wants to issue cbdcs in order to wrest back the control for instance agar hum china ki baat kare then wechat theek hai wechat as well as alipay these are the two fintech companies who have resulted in the proliferation of digital payments which is outside the control of the central bank of china so china wants to have the digital currencies in order to bring the control back to its central bank apart from that countries not having faster digital payments wants to have this digital currency so as to promote digital payments by forcing their central banks to catalyze the digital innovation theek hai uske alawa there are countries who wants to take advantage of the programmability feature of the digital currencies so as to have a self regulated tax collection and compliance system and developing countries including india wants to have this digital currency because it wants as a way to bank the unbanked to jitne bhi unbanked hain jitne bhi informal sector mein hain unko banking system mein lana chahte hain uske wajah se they want to have a digital currency they want to regulate the entire entire population of the country so that they are all under one ambit that is the digital currency theek hai तो अगर हम इंडिया की बात करें सो दिज आर द डिफरेंट मोटिवेशन दैट सेंट्रल बैंक कैन हैव फॉर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग दिस सेंट्रल बैंक डिजिटल करेंसी वॉट अबाउट इंडिया इंडिया के लिए इसमें से कौन सबसे ज़्यादा प्रेवलेंट मोटिवेशन या मोटिव लगता है सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इंडिया इंडिया ऑलरेडी हैज अ फास्ट पेमेंट है ना इंडिया के पास ऑलरेडी फास्ट पेमेंट है दैट परफॉर्म्स वेल एट स्केल if required india can easily bold programmability in order to have smart end programs to usko ye programmability programmability bhi nahi chahiye and unlike china india already has control over its digital payment as 
UPI that is the unified payment interface was built was built by and under the supervision of the Indian banking sector regulator that is by RBI. RBI ke under hi UPI built hua tha. So ye bhi already India ke paas hai. So the only obvious reason, the only reason that leaves India with the need to have a digital currency is to bank the unbanked. So yehi ek reason hai jo India ko India ke liye need arise karta hai to have a digital currency. ठीक है, so if we talk about today's scenario, अब India की statistics के बारे में बात कर लेते हैं, what is the statistics as of today? So we talk about today's scenario, then 80 percent of the adult Indians have a bank account. उनके पास already bank account है Indian citizens के बाद, ठीक है? So if we think about issuing CBDC for the sake of including the remaining 20 percent, then then we need to first ensure then whether whether this 80% really uses the account or not या फिर ये digital payments करते भी है या नहीं या बस account खोल के रख दिया है under the financial inclusion programs of the government so of the 500 million banks accounts that Indians have no more than 35% are active in India this means that despite the huge success of financial inclusion UPI still has to cover 65% of its addressable market. So, there can be two options for RBI to use, to effectively use its resources. First, either it can have a digital currency whereby it is including the entire sector into one formal embed known as the digital rupee or rather it would be better to use our resources to get those who have bank accounts to use them properly by incentivizing them to use digital payments as well. So it is only once we have done this that those who are having bank account are actually using this, right? Those having bank accounts are actually using this and having the use of digital payments then only India should think of having any kind of digital currencies. ठीक है? तो दो options हैं। हमने ये देख लिया कि statistics ये है कि 80% Indians के पास already bank account है। But of these 80%, only 35% are active. इसका मतलब 65% 65% population are not even using this bank account, है ना? तो और ना ही वो digital payment use करते हैं। so our first motive before introducing the digital currency should be to incentivize these population, this 80%, this 65% population to use this bank account to be familiar with the digital payments and then only we can effectively use our resources to have a centralized, a central bank digital currency for the entire nation and reap the benefits that digital currency provide. So this was the news this was the dynamics that i wanted to discuss with you all and this is a question for you all read the question pause the question read it and with explanation try to answer it in the comment section let me read the question for you the question says we need to consider the following statements and then we need to identify the incorrect statements the statements are cbdc stands for centralized bank digital currency Second, CBDC will be supervised and regulated by the government of India. And third, in the 2021 budget announcement, Finance Minister levied a 25% tax on the income from virtual digital assets. And we need to identify the incorrect statement. So post your answers in the comment section. Till then, take care and have a nice day. Bye-bye.